OC to no OD. So we're going to go back to the top. Zeros here to the uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D. So here's. Oops. I just said CD. Okay, so right here. Actually, let's fuck it. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C. Okay, so right here, F, F is C. So we're going to open up a calculator here. And uh, we're going to go to hexadecimal and type it backwards. So it's going to be 11 FF. We're going to put that as decimal, and that is his trainer's ID right there, 4607. The next two right here as the secret ID, it's going to be E5C. Because we have to flip it backwards, go back down to decimal, and that is his ID number right there, or secret ID. So that's some more stuff we got down there. Now, what else can we get? We Let's get a held item. Right here, held item 08 and 09. That's right after its national ID. That means it's right after this 0401. That means it's E4 or EA. Now, how do I know what numbers are the national or what numbers correspond to what stuff or what numbers go to what items? We use the script that I ripped from the game. I'm going to actually use the entire script instead of the one just for items just to show you the actual number that it corresponds to. So we're going to type in leftovers because I know it has leftovers. So we're going to type in leftovers. Click search. Here we go. As you can see, it's a list of items. Leftovers corresponds to number 234. Now let's see if this number equals 234. We're going to go back to our calculator. We're going to go to hex mode. And we're going to type in E A. Click decimal. Oh my god, 234. So it obviously has leftovers, and that's what t t the data in here says. And it's a swampert. And we got to put that there. I forgot about that. So what else can we find? I know. What about the ability? Let's look up its ability. It's oh my computer's freezing. <laughs> As because okay, the ability is at 14. No, that's happening. Its ability is at 15. So we're going to go here and search for 15. So here's zero. Here's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15 right here 43 so what is ability 43 let's go back and do this te text rip and we're going to search for torrent because I believe it has torrent and we're going to look for it and there we go here is torrent its number is 67 decimal 43 hex. We're going to go and type in 43 as hex, change it to decimal, and there is 67. So it does have the ability torrent. So now we are going to enter this into Pokasov. Torrent. There we go. What else can we find from this data that I've collected so far? Happiness. Right before it. Happiness is 53. We're going to put that here and go to decimal 83 it has 83 happiness which is pretty damn low to be honest what else can we get let's get its attacks when this no let's look up its IVs that's good right there 2C to 2F is its IVs but this is going to be a little bit more tricky because the way the IVs are stored so we're going to go to 2C, which will be, okay, here's 0, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 20 a 20 b 20 c So it's IV number, or these four right here. So what I'm going to do actually is open up another program, PKM Edit, which is a program I made to practice my programming skills which is basically 
Pokemon editor. So now we're going to just put all 30 ones right there so I can have some data in the actual file. We'll save that to the desktop as ASDFA because I don't care. We're going to open that in the hex editor. There's the uh, IVs right here that I just typed in, max IVs. We're going to change it to match what's in here. And let's see what we got. FF, FF, CF, 3E. So we got, got FF, FF, CF, 3E. We're going to save that. And we're going to open it up in this program again. And it's going to read that new data and it's going to show the IVs it has. So it has 31, 31, 31, 12, 31, 31. And that is exactly what was reported by Mogwai. So we're going to type it in here 31, 31, 31, 31. 31. 12 for special attack and 31 because it's swapped. Special attack 12, special attack 12. Okay. What else can we do with this? Let's get its attacks. That's always good, right? Let's know its moveset from 1C to 1D. So we are going to, uh, from 0 to 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Uh, 19, uh, 10A, 10B. Here's 10C right here. So we're going to go to the calculator. And we're going to put in A, E. Going to click uh, decimal. It has attack 174. We're going to go back to our uh, Pokemon script rip. We're actually going to, first we're going to look for pound. Because pound is attack 1, I believe. I keep putting pound. It's gonna look for pound. Here we go, pound. As you can see, zero. Pound is one. Karate chop, and we're gonna go to 174 now. 174. Click down. Curse. So apparently, this swampert has curse. Oops, didn't mean to click that. So we're gonna go for its first attack. We're gonna put in curse. Now. For its next attack, 7F. What is that in hex? Or er, in decimal? 7F? 127. So now we're going to go back to our text file of gigantic lists of script rips and we're going to go to number 127. 127 is waterfall and that is a move that is seen in the battle video. So we're going to go back here for Pokemon attack number 2, waterfall. There we go. Now what's the third attack? Let's see what we got. Where's my thingy to block off? Okay, so right there. Number 8. Type in 08, even though I don't have to, but just for you guys, 8 hex is 8 and decimal. So we're going to go all the way up to 8. What is 8? Ice Punch, another attack that was used against me in the battle against my Salamence, to be exact. Ice Punch. There we go. Now, what is his last attack? Let's see. 59. Hex. And Decimal is 89. Let's go to attack 89, see what we got here. Not sure what 89 is, but it could be Earthquake or Roar or other standard Swamp Red attacks. Let's see what we got. 89 is Earthquake. Look at that. A standard Swampert attack. So we are going to put that down here. 89. Earthquake. Now let's look up some more stuff that we can get. Let's do the moves PowerPoint starting at 24, 25, 26, 27. 24. So. 